Hello and welcome to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. So this time, um, we are starting straight away in the desert. Because why not? Um, it's, it's good to change things up a little, I feel. <laughs> Can't always start in Yukumo Village. We can, but, well. Just to, you know, mix things up a little. Anyways, today we'll be taking on the Tiger... T tiger X? No, it's the Tigrex. So yeah, it's T I G R E X and not T I G E R E X. It's it's yeah, it's just a name. So you can call it Tigrex, Tigrex, whatever you want. But yes, so here is the ecology video for Tigrex. So as you can see, um, he can fly. It's actually a flying wyvern. But watch him go on the on land. Like look look at those powerful forelimbs. Just wham that jump. Roar. So yeah, this ecology video actually already gives you a hint on how this wyvern moves around, which is largely on land, and he roars quite a bit. So I mean, a lot of the large monsters roar, but you have to be extra careful about this guy's roar. It's particularly insane. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna alert him just yet, let me just put on the close range coatings. Alright. Okay, that was a uh, quite a soft roar, if you ask me. <laughs> so the Tigrex, um, he is a flying wyvern. Basically, from from the simple fact that he can fly, it uh has these winged four limbs, which are very similar to that of the Rathian slash Rathalos, but it has something quite unique to it, in which it actually relies very very heavily on its four limbs, using it to push. Items like this, push not push items, but like, you know, um, what you call using the power of its front limbs to throw rocks to propel its body forward, etc. I mean, if you compare it to the Narga and the Baryov, um, they are more balanced in the sense where they actually use um, their wings to fly and not just the arm strength. They actually flap their wings a lot more, they um, use their hind legs equally as well. But look, look at that, he's just pulling himself forward with his four limbs. So, ouch. Yep, this is this is something that's pretty unique to the Tigrex. Not Tigrex, Tigrex. Ugh, I keep pronouncing it wrongly myself. Well, whatever, you guys get the idea. <laughs> so, his weakest spot uh, is uh, basically his... His weakest spot is basically his head, if I remember correctly. So, it's breakable as well. And uh, you can cut off his tail, yes. And similar to the Baryov, if you were to damage the wings, he would slip and fall. And I'm um, sorry for so many whiffs, I mean like, wow. Uh, it's been quite a day in school, so a bit tired, but yeah, gotta get a recording done. So first priority is to actually break off his, uh, not break off, but damage his, uh, his limbs, his wing arms. So that gives us an easier time to deal with him when he starts tripping and falling. We have more windows to attack him. And uh, yeah, that's nice. So, he likes to jump around a lot, yeah. Oh my gosh, what what a what a shot. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that to hit me. Okay, never mind. It's all good. The random ant is trying to get me. It, it got exploded. Okay. Uh, wow, he just like clipped through the entire tree. Like, come on man, even I can't clip through it. So anyway, um... Yeah, he's angry now. He's, as you can see, like the blood vessels um, are very much more. As in, no, not the blood vessels, but rather you can see the red very much more clearly on Tigrex, on the Tigrex, possibly because of the fact that the blood vessels are very much more um, pronounced. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's so fast. So he's quite hard to deal with when he's enraged because, uh, yeah, he moves around a lot. A huge amount and oh my gosh the wind pressure. That was close. And uh yeah, he moves around a lot, he roars a lot, and his roars are not just like any ordinary roar you have seen so far. He's actually the first monster to actually have a roar that can damage you. You heard it right, it can damage you. And uh he's heading that direction. I should have paintballed him, I forgot. But whatever. So do keep in mind that when you're dealing with the Tigrex, I mean um <coughs> Tigrex, oh gosh. You can't stay too close to him because his roar would wreck you. So you either bring a weapon of a shield, such that you can, you know, 
block out the raw. Either that or you become very good at evading through the raws. Oh my gosh, that, that was close. Okay, time to try and put him to sleep. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh! Something broke. I'm not sure what did, but uh, pretty sure something broke. Or oh, it seemed like it at least. Or maybe it's just an ordinary flinch. Huh, maybe. Uh, just gonna be careful of that twin hit fight. Just whoops. Nope. You're getting way too close for comfort, Tigrex. Remember, personal space. So yeah. Just a few more shots to put him to s Nope. Bad boy. Or girl, whatever. Oh, that was a bad miss. I thought I was gonna run closer. Guess not. He should be falling asleep right about... One more shot. Like, now. There we go. Don't have to draw that arrow. Well, Jaggi, please do not come interfere. I just want to quickly blow up his face because... Oh my god, that was so close. Do you see Do you see the Jaggi like, just behind him trying to get my cat? Okay, here we go. Oh, it it, blew up, it detonated on his arm. Damn, and it didn't break his... Oh, it, it did... Wait. This is... Um, okay. I think his left wing arm is broken, but... I'm not too sure. Alright, never mind. Just quickly coat the power ones and... Uh, yeah, let's get ready to face Havoc against this guy. Oh my gosh, no! That, that, that's one of his uh, most annoying moves to deal with because... Yeah, it, it gets very close to the Hunter and it's... The timing of dodge is really, really tight. So latent power is activated, I must take this chance to quickly do as much damage as I can before it wears off. Um, he's heading over to area 2, okay. Uh, I'll just need this other ration as well. Ration, whatever. G go away, Jaggy, no one wants you. Not right now, at least. Okay. Here we go. There he is. What's he doing? Is he actually eating? No, he's not. He's... Whoa, whoa. Oh, he is actually going to eat. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly try and flinch him or something. Uh, this is not doing much. Oh, that! Stop moving your head! Well, I failed to do anything useful. No! Ah, uh, shark, shark, shark. The timing on that is so, so, so messed up. I can't. Oh my gosh! I'm getting cornered. This is not cool. Okay, um, you know what this means. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay, I managed to dodge that somehow. Out, 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 out. <gasps> oh, I made it. That was close. Yeah, it's really annoying to fight him in tight corners like that because just just look at how much he moves. It's it's ridiculous to try and dodge him. As in, then again, that was partially my bad. I couldn't really get out of his range there. I'm uh, I'm not too used to fighting him with the bow. But in any case, let's just quickly set up this trap here um, so you get some free DPS in. He should be coming over, right? Please tell me you're coming over. Come on. Hey. Hey. Yes, he's coming over. Oh! Ouch. Okay. At, at least he got hit by that. Alright. Just gonna quickly... Oh my gosh, that lasted so short. Then again, he's not fatigued, that's why. Oh my gosh, no! Stop! Stop it! You are annoying! Oh my gosh, the poor, the poor thing. I can't remember what's the name of that. Oh, he's enraged again. Oh dear. He can go all the way that, to that part of the map, that's just not fair. Well, oh my gosh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, okay, what, what should I do about this? Oh, ooh, something broke. Not sure what did, but oh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Totally cool with that, I don't care what breaks, I just, I just want him dead. Oh, he's roaring. But I think his wing broke. I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, it looks like it broke. Nope. Ah, he ran. Coward. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, as you can see, he is a flying wyvern, definitely, because of the fact that he can fly. And he's quite... He's actually quite a fast flyer as well, as you can... I mean, well, look, look at how fast he just takes off from the ground. But it could possibly just, just, you know, mean that he has very strong fall limbs and therefore, you know, like, taking off using his fall limbs is really quite simple for him. 
Okay, his head is out, out. Okay, he, he doesn't like that. Damn it. His head is definitely broken now. Um, as you can see from the scar, like, thing, that scar mark on his face now. Um, his wing arms are both broken, if I am not wrong. Oh my gosh, my cat took it for me. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And, uh, I can't really take out his tail, not single-handedly, so I'm not going to bother trying. So I believe I've broken most of his breakable parts already. No! Ouch! Shite! Ah. Okay, latent power activated. I don't have time to heal, do I? Nope, just gonna take the opportunity to take him down. No! Oh, the wind pressure! Stop it! He's gonna run. Yep, there we go, tripped him. I should really be aiming for his head, but uh... Can't really have a good sh clear shot of it. Ah, darn it. I really miss fast charge, man. It's so it's so useful. Oh wow, that was far. Um, there we go. Flinched him again. I mean, now I've traded off damage, uh, speed for damage. So yeah, I just have to suck it up, I guess. Ah, ouch! Darn it. That was way too early. So the tracking has, as you can see, improved. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no. no. Oh no, not not the potion. I want a mega potion. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, okay, he's, he's fatigued, is he? No, he's just taunting. Yep. Monsters can taunt you as well. So do take the chance to, you know, wreck their faces when they do this. So you can, you know, flinch him for free damage. And such. Okay, he's coming again. Just dodge out of the way. He's gonna trip, is he gonna trip? He... No, he did not trip. Why not? Or is it... Why did he not trip? Ah, uh, that was weird. I was expecting him to trip because, like, his wing arms were broken. Or maybe he only trips when he's fatigued. That, that male... Hmm. Whatever the case, um, I'm just gonna have to be careful. So, yeah. Oh, where's he going? Is he gonna roar? Oh, flinched him. Haha! -ha. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not the spin! Ah, he spinned. Damn it. I guess I have to dodge behind him, but... Uh, it's just generally... It, it's gonna spin again! Yep, that's right. Just go straight behind him. That works. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, that was close! Oh my- No! <sighs> oh my gosh, this guy's giving me a heart attack. Okay, okay, enough moving around. Stop, stop! And just- No! Ah, don't be pressure! Okay, okay, he didn't follow up from that, so that was- Okay. Alright. Just gonna quickly try and shoot him in the butt. And hopefully trip him so I can- Oh my- Nope, nope, it's a spin! Ah, damn it. I- I didn't react properly. That was my own fault. I'm bad. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. I really don't like dealing with Tigrex because he's... He's just he's just really annoying to deal with. I can say this like 10 times over and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be changing my mind on that. I, I... Come on! You're supposed to trip! My gosh! Oh my gosh. Did I actually not break his wing arms? I believe I did. Not to mention his fatigue. Why is he not tripping? Whatever, I'm just gonna keep focusing on his wing up just in case, although I'm not sure. The stamina is getting low. This is getting a bit risky and it's my last Oh, he's gonna spin. Not gonna be near enough for that. Oh he's limping. That's uh that's a good sign I guess. I believe he rests in area eleven as well. Similar to all most of the monsters that uh visit the desert. So let's just finish this off quick. Nope, you are not getting a. Okay, you got away. Darn it. Uh. So the paintball has not worn off yet. That is good. He's flying off in that direction. Whoa! Wait, I can't. I can't go from here. That's not fair. You have wings. I don't. Mm, should I heal up, or should I save on this this measly potion? <sighs> My advice to all hunters out there is to actually just use it, just in case, but... I believe in my skills. Although I'm pretty sure I'll regret saying that. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for him to go to sleep. Um, he doesn't look like... Is he sleeping yet? No, he's still moving around a lot. So, yeah, I'm just observing the map. I'm not sure if he's going to sleep yet. Is he? Are you going to sleep yet? Because if he does go to sleep, I can just set up this bomb in his face and... Kaboom! Alright, stop moving. He might be asleep. Yeah, he might. He might just be asleep. Let's go. 
Are you sleeping? Oh yes, you are. Oh, cute little Barbie. Have a bomb to the face. Yes, very nice, delicious bomb. Oh, he's he's not dead. Oh, flinched him. No roaring. Whoa! Darn it, that was close. How is he not dead? Wow, this guy is tough. Tough as nails. Oh, flinched him again. Okay, maybe not as nails, but still tough. Okay, can't believe I dodged that, actually. Nope, not the twin bite. Okay, just gonna get out of the way. Turn around and shoot. Okay, he's gonna fly back and roar. Is he gonna roar? Nope, he's gonna shoot stuff. And, uh, he's shooting more stuff. Well, not technically not shooting. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh dear, what do I do now? What do I do now? No, no, no. Okay, okay. This is getting kind of risky. I'm not liking this. Okay, my cat's got him distracted. Um, okay, only one cat actually, because the other is fainted. <laughs> the other has fainted. <laughs> oh, darn it. Oh, clutch. If he didn't flinch, I would have gotten hit by that. Out of the way. Okay, okay. Nope. I missed that, I whiffed that, I got I got too nervous and uh, anxious about that. So, just gonna quickly shoot this right there. He's gonna try and throw more rocks and stuff at me. Oh, and there we go, right in the face. Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn, you are one toughie. Dude. Wow. It actually took quite a bit of effort, man. This Tigrex, uh. Well, in any case, uh, this is it for now. Wait, 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 no, no, no. I need to go to Area 11. I need to collect, I need to collect dung. Where's Area 11? There. Can I make it? Can I at least collect a dung or two? Wait, does this go to 11? I hope it does. Yeah, it does go to 11. Alrighty. 11, where's the dung? I need the poop. The wyvern poop. There we go. Quickly harvest, 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 or like gather, gather, whatever, whatever. Jaggy, please, please don't, please don't. Don't come interfere, please. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, collect, collect, collect the dung. Yeah, nice. More dung. Woo. Oh yeah. Too bad, you can't hit me now. Ha 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 ha. Jeez. <laughs> I'm being so stupid. <sighs> okay, so there we have it. The Tigrex stuff. I did. I think I did break his wings, but I, I really don't understand why he did not trip and fall when he was doing his uh, runny runny thing and when he was turning around. I really don't know why, but yeah. So anyway, let's just pay a visit to the farm. We haven't been to the farm in a long time. I mean, I have been, but I haven't shown it to you guys. Um, there hasn't been any changes since, but we shall now change that. In the sense, where, in the sense that we're going to just uh, do a quick renovation and upgrade and stuff. So we have 8,300 points. What can we get? Um, uh, we could get a beehive, I guess. Um, nothing much, really. The seesaw is... Hmm. Hmm. I should actually get the fishing pier maybe. Because I would really want to get the more wet fish. More wet fish means more close range coatings, which I can actually put to good use. Um, that's 4,000 points, which, yeah, which means I still have another 4,300 to spend. And uh, hmm, the Monyan wagon maybe? Oh, the Marathon Regime, hmm. Damn. Climbing Regime, that's quite useful, I guess. Mega Barbecue Speed. Uh, or oh, I could get the Shell Bark Perfume as well. I can't afford the Mining Cart, which I really want as well, but um... Oh, well, let's just do this. I'm gonna get a Fishing Pier, and the Shell Bark Perfume. Well, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a good use of points, but... Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade every one of them someday, one way or another. And yay, my cat has learned a new skill. So let me just quickly show you what 
has happened to the fishing pier. So basically, in level 1, we stopped here. Level 2, we stopped here. And now level 3, there's an extension all the way here, where we can hoist the net and get more fish. So as you can see, we have now more fish. Sort of. Um, not a lot of fish, actually, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, and also we can now use the shell bug perfume, which will probably get us... Um, different kind of bugs, so I have to first gather and if I'm not wrong that's my fourth type of perfume that I have to catch bugs with so nope, change the bit, yep, the fourth, the shell now so let's just um, change the bit to there, add in some hypnotic pollen and there we go so the reason why I didn't upgrade the honey was because um, as in the beehive or the honey box or whatever you call it is that I already have a good amount of honey stockpiled yeah, like 98, 99, 100, 101. And I actually don't... Usually, I don't need to use that many potions, but that Tigrex fight though, oh my gosh, he just... He just wrecked me. So I've been planting sleep herbs as well because of the amount of um, sleep bomb runs that I've been doing with Mido-chan. And so, yeah, it applies to my single player runs as well. I mean, since I have this bow, might as well just put it all the way to good use. So this is, yeah, that's about it for the updates on the farm. Um, I have, I'm, I might still consider using more of my uh, armor seeds and power seeds if I feel like there's a need to, like if the monster's gonna be really strong or something. So another thing to note is that um, the next monster is going to be the Agnator. So, I have yet to decide what am I going to do about it. Like, should I be using this bow or should I be using another bow? Well, likelihood is, uh, I'm talking, I'm, I apologize, I'm talking a lot to myself here. I mean, most of you probably would have tuned out by now, but yeah. So, let me just show you the bows that I currently have. Um, I didn't make a lot. There's not much progress, honestly speaking, because school. And, um... Yeah, so I only have these four bows, the Sponge, Gear, Queen Blaster, Ice Crest, and Hidden Bow. So the Hidden Bow is the pierce, is a piercing type. It has a Power Poison, Paralyze, and Close Range Coating. Yep, and then the the other pierce bow that could be useful against the Ignator is this one, the Sponge Gear, which, well, pierce. It has only... Poison, close range, and exhaust, which is kind of miserable. So, I guess I'll be taking this bow. Yeah, no questions asked. Or possibly the Queen Blaster bow. Hmm, I'll do some thinking about it, and we shall see. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, you know, this Jinoga set is still fabulous. Fab. Fab. Well,. <laughs> <laughs> yep, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, please leave a comment, like and subscribe and I'm truly truly grateful to all those people who have um, really dropped like just a few words, they, they mean a lot to me, thank you so much and uh, happy hunting, have a good day, MHGeek signing out.